Today on BRG Profiling Videos, we have a real treat. We're looking at Matt Zwicker's 1983 CD 1100F that over the years he has lovingly restored to better than stock. With the suspension updates and the JES built motor and other bits that he's gotten from JES, Matt's efforts have been rewarded by turning this grand lady into what she is today. Now, Matt's bike is here to have a proper tune done on the JES motor and the CR carburetors. Yes, we're just doing the finished tune on the bike, and the horsepower numbers are a credit to what Jim Stewart at JES and his knowledge of these engines. Jim specializes in these bikes, and I hope he doesn't mind if we call this bike a BRG beast. If you couldn't tell, we were having troubles getting the back tire to hook up on the dyno. The cotton picking thing kept slipping. Too much power, too much torque. But as we all know, there's never enough horsepower. the baseline. The white dotted line is what we just did. That's six more horsepower. We're getting the main jet, the needle, and more importantly the ignition timing right. Is that the face of a man who loves his job? That is just plainly a very cool motorcycle. Honest, you know what we should do? We should do a freaking sweep test on this thing. Take it out and ride it and see, see how it, uh, see how it is. We might throw it back up and do a sweep test. All right, be careful out there. Make sure it starts hard. Matt's bike initially had come into the shop with a broken tap in the engine cases. Matt and I had talked about putting it up on the dyno and checking the tune. This was a great opportunity to show what BRG tuning was all about. How is it? Yeah, let's do a sweep test on it. How's it, uh, how's it? How's the throttle response? Nice, real crisp. Okay. Any wheelie action? Yes. How bad? Uh, it wants to come up steadily. It's not what a, gear? Uh, I did it in the on the second. Okay. Old Nothing first. in third, huh? No, I didn't have enough real estate. Uh, we just finished up tuning this 1983 CB 1100F, and what a treat! Matt had Jim Stewart of JES out of Sandy, Oregon, build the motor, and I'm tell you, he built one heck of a motor. We can only get the horsepower out that somebody like Jim builds in. When we finally got the ignition timing working with the compression, it stopped rattling like an old tin can and started spinning the back tire on the dyno. We had a heck of a time getting that tire to hook up, and I think there's more in her. I think with playing around a bit more with the Dyna Ignition, make a custom map for, we might even see over 150 horsepower. Nowadays, 150 horsepower doesn't sound like much, but back in the day, 150 horsepower, that was superbike territory. And to be able to do power wheelies in second gear with stock gearing and stock weight, and I think that's over 500 pounds, that's saying something. It never ceases to amaze me how just some small changes in the tuning can make a huge difference in how the bike wants to run. We tried different combinations, different jet sizes, different needle positions, but when it was all said and done, we had dropped the main jet one step, raised the needle one clip, 
and took 5 degrees of ignition timing out global. The bike doesn't ping anymore, the spark plugs look awesome, and the customer clearly is very happy with what we did. You better like this thing. <laughs> I'll do it. Hey man, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate oh, it's my pleasure. pleasure. It's my pleasure. I'm, pre I'm just happy to have a mechanic to go do the nice shit. Yeah. But it hit good and hard right at about 6,000 RPM. And... Oh yeah, right up, right up here. Yeah. Um, that's, that's when I caught up to the gaggle of police officers. Uh, it was screaming. They wanted to keep going. I got to 110 at 7,000 RPMs. Air clubs way better. Oh, good. Way better. Uh, and your pipe, uh, your exhaust pipe is cleaning up nicely. Screaming. Once you get up to the, the top end. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> it gets with the program. Yes, it does. And it's You're amazing. It was, one, it was one jet size down. Yeah on the top and we raised the needle up one one more. Oh and we rolled out we rolled back. One more it thing here in closing. Totally Jim's last name is Sotel, not Stuart, like I originally said. And he did not pay me for anything that I've said here. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye now.